I started my journey wondering about that adventurous spirit which drove the missionaries forward into unknown waters. Now, I want to experience it for myself. I'm venturing north to the most dangerous stretch of water they would have crossed, as they searched for refuge and a new foothold from which to spread their faith. The Gulf of Corrie Beckon is home to a notorious whirlpool, the third largest in the world. A pre-Christian Celtic myth has it that this powerful maelstrom is where Kyle Yak Bearer, the hag of winter, washes her great cloak in the churning waters. When it emerges white and clean, she drapes it over the land to bring Scotland its first snow. St. Columba knew of the dangers of Corrie Vecan, believing that God had created it to make seafarers pray harder. When you've been at sea for a period of time, you start noticing the tiniest nuance in the change of the ocean around you. And this, quite frankly, would be terrifying. What you have to remember is that, you know, those monks were in these little skin-lined boats with a basic willow frame. I know it looks pretty benign, but the boat is spinning around now and it's that fear of the unknown. Is there a great creature below sucking the water around? That's, that's what keeps coming back into my mind, the unknown and that bravery that they had. These were true adventurers. They would have carried on despite the fear and despite the unknown because their faith reassured them that they were going to be okay. Mm -hmm. 